I'm wearing half pajama, half gym fit. I'm gonna tell you why you may, may not, mostly may, mostly will need cardio in your life. I never do videos like this, but here we go. I am not a pro, but this is what worked for me after following everyone else's advice for years and years. I kind of figured out what my body needs maybe yours too. Also, EHP Labs has been having their Black Friday slash Cyber Monday sale. I am so sorry that this video has gone up late, but that's why I always say follow me on Instagram for the live updates. Hopefully there is flavors that you would like still in stock and you have till December 1st to get 20 to 60% off using my code Tatiana10, last sale of the year. This is a brand that I love and trust. As you know, Bless Protein, been trying some creatine, oxy shred, non-stim, the regular one, and the hardcore. I actually love them all, but mostly go for the regular one. So make sure you stock up on any subs that you may want to try and just enjoy the sale while it still lasts. Body image has been an issue for me for a very, very long time. I started taking before pictures when I was literally 13, 14 years old because I didn't like how I looked. I looked at myself in the mirror and I thought there is something that I can do about this. I say in quotes because you don't need to do anything. You don't need to be forced to do anything fitness related if you don't want to. Some people, it's just not for them. I knew that there was something that I wanted to change and so I took my before pictures because I was like, one day I'm gonna have my after pictures um, and it's gonna be different. I'm gonna look different. I got into like the booty band exercises, the fat trimming, slim waist, tone thighs type of era of YouTube with like these kinds of exercises and like the leg lifts. I wanted a thigh gap. Um, so I searched every single video on the internet to get that. I couldn't, I didn't. That's what I did. That's how I kind of got started into it and started doing more research. At this time I was still playing soccer, still doing sports and I hated running. I despised running after about grade seven, grade eight. I really did not like any type of running and in soccer you run. Um, <laughs> but I just really hated, like strong word, hated it. Didn't want anything to do with it. I didn't want to do cross country anymore. Didn't want to do track and field anymore. And then I found the lifting weights videos that era of YouTube. And I mentioned this in my fitness journey video, I was following the wrong type of people. They're like, in terms of body type and transformations. So everyone that I started following, I think one of the first ones was probably Whitney Simmons and I'm trying to think of who else, maybe Robin. Um, I can't, it was so long ago, but their transformations were from them being very thin um, to growing muscle, right? So all of their advice was to lift weights, lift heavy weights, do all of these compound exercises. Um, and so I did that. I got into that. I started following their YouTube videos. I started writing them down in my notes, in my notebook, on Instagram, everything. And I only did that for my body type. And also I was struggling with my binge eating and I didn't even know it. It was like, doing the opposite of what I wanted. Um, I was gaining more mass, but like, it was just, it was so weird. I just remember so vividly, like I bought some workout plans and all of the, all of the fitness advice was don't do any cardio. Don't do, don't do the cardio, just do the heavy weights, do the heavy lifting. And so I did. And what happened? I see no change in my body. And I was, and that was like six, eight weeks of doing that. And I was like, um, this is useless. Like this did nothing for me. And then I had this thought in my head and I was like, maybe I should be doing cardio. I also should have been doing cardio because I was still playing soccer and needed to be physically fit for that. Like have the endurance and the stamina um, to run in the games but then I wasn't like, I was just so counteracting myself. Um, I was just, anyway. So, and then after every workout, I said, okay, I'm gonna do like 20 minutes of cardio after my lifts, um, but then I never would because I was lazy and I didn't want to. Yeah, that happened for a good few years. And I wanna say 2019 was when I was 
at my heaviest. I know weight does not matter. The, the number on the scale does not matter. But just to put in perspective, um, that was honestly probably the worst I had ever felt about myself. And that was probably the most severe that my binge eating was at. And at that time, I was getting some knowledge about cuts and bulks. Um, and all of the girls who started on the thinner side said that they went into a bulk to gain muscle, get a big booty. But then I was also like, I didn't like my stomach, so I also wanted to cut um, because I didn't want any fat on my body. I didn't know what to do. And so what I did was I pretty much just considered my binge eating a bulk, which it really was not. And then if you did see my fitness journey video in 2020, like literally the start of quarantine is when I got into the HIIT workouts. And that's when I started noticing the most change in my body. And now I'm actually at a safe place where I can, I can actually say that I do like incorporating different types of cardio um, into my routine. And I get other people's opinions um, to say to not do cardio if you have a specific goal but it's not gonna hurt to incorporate it once or twice a week as a start you know i don't think it's gonna harm your results um if you are trying to build muscle build lots of muscle mass you have to remember if you're working out if that's overall health you know and cardio is gonna help your cardiovascular system it's gonna help your heart in the long run for you to live longer i think i don't even know actually but <laughs> for me i don't like just one type of exercising you know like fitness as a whole is something that i really enjoy and that's why i've been sharing it so much on instagram and youtube i feel like i'm always posting on my stories and that it's become like my personality but like no seriously it's something that i'm very really really into right now and i really enjoy and it makes me feel good um because i never used to feel this way about the, the the gym was so easy for me i've been going to the gym for so many years now but i just wasn't i didn't get it you know um you get it you get it you don't you don't <laughs> um but uh yeah that's when i realized like the my body type was so different when i bought oxy shred with my own money and blessed protein and all of that, all of those supplements. I was kind of scared to share my opinion about taking a fat burner because I didn't think that anyone else did. I felt like I would be judged, um, but it like, it actually did help me. And even now, um, me doing the heavy lifting, the incorporating cardio, I still have um, a higher percentage body fat than a normal, person would i mean it's not it's probably not as high as it was before but like we also don't know what our genetics are capable of um so for example i would get questions on what leg workouts i do i am quad dominant like my quads my hamstrings have always had muscle have always had like the growth to them my booty no no <laughs> i mean like there was something there but like she wasn't genetically gifted, you know, but my legs were. I could gain muscle like this in my legs by just doing the basics, squats, um, all of that, just incorporating that with weights. Um, and so when people ask me what ex exercises I do, I'm honest and I say it's part genetics, but also literally just incorporating the basics. My booty on the other hand, <laughs> um, <laughs> but like, you know, it's a different story. <laughs> my stomach doesn't it, my stomach holds a lot of fat um it doesn't sh you know some people they're like their bulk went to the right places or their cut went to the right places and that literally is has to do with genetics of course they say you can't fat you can't spot reduce fat right yeah you can't spot reduce fat and so that's where genetics come into play if you see if we all did the same workouts, we all ate the same thing, we still wouldn't look the same. We are all different and unique in our own ways. So you don't have to follow only one advice, right? You can get multiple opinions, multiple advice, find what works for you and what you like to do. 
So just because someone's telling you, like I always follow, someone's telling you lift weights, don't do cardio, lift weights, don't do cardio. I did that and it didn't work. So I experimented. <laughs> Even now, sometimes like I'm still doing my workouts by Katya gym program that I bought a few years back and I'm tweaking that. You know, if there's something that's written down for that day, I'm adding an extra exercise or I'm switching an exercise. I'm, I found really what I like to do. And even sometimes in the gym using the machines, I feel like it can be slow paced, but I still find ways to push myself, you know?